The story about the rose mallow. Miss Tuberose is pure white with a sweet, strong scent. She looks haughty, with a slender shape. Miss Velvety Rose is secretly elegant. Her clothes are deep red, embroidered with sparkling dewdrops. Although she's in the same family with many other flower sisters, she rarely talks to anyone. The dahlias with showy, colorful clothes always green broadly. In the garden, hundreds of flowers blossom fully, but hardly anyone notices the rose mallow. Its flowers are only frequent to each other's. They are too shy to talk to other flowers. Their pistils are long and curved, like tiny fishing rods. Sometimes they swing their red, play around with the frogs. The credulous frogs jump up, bite the branch, and then fall down to the pond. They chew the petals for a while and then nag, "Tasteless, tasteless." Their sound echoes in the air. However, the very next day, there are still other frogs that will fall for the rose mallow's trick. The carnation talked from afar. Look, they don't dare to stand next to us. Got to grow by the pond. What kind of flower that has no fragrance? Nobody wants to put on the vase. Nobody even bothers to take care of. Nobody used to give anyone. What kind of flower that has no one to hang out with, except for the frogs? One day, the carnation told the garden owner, "Master, look, those rose mallow are so useless. Is there any point if you keep them? At least." We're worth being put in your vase. We decorate your garden, and we give you sweet scent. The tuberose added. The owner felt like they were right. Each flower has its own use. Only rose mallows are good for nothing, not to mention that they grow too fast. The garden owner decided to cut down. All the rose mallow plants, the big branches are sun dried to be used as firewood. The small ones are brewed to be fertilizer. Since then, the pond was absent of red flowers. The butterflies no longer flew by as often as they had. The frogs had no one to play with. They couldn't help missing the rose mallows all the time. Only the wind is freed. One day came the storm. Hundreds of wind together attacked the garden. The beautiful clothes of the velvet rose were torn apart. The tuberose cried for having a luxation. Many carnations had their mouth battered. There was nothing they could do but cry. It was only until then did they realize the importance. The rose mallow. If the rose mallow had still been there, they wouldn't have been so terribly destroyed. They began to cry and blame on each other, for ask the owner to cut down the rose mallow. The remaining roots of the rose mallow heard the cry and fight. They felt funny and sympathetic at the same time. Soon afterwards. The rose mallow started to grow quickly, covering all over the fences with their green, vital, left buds. And on a beautiful dawn, the buds burst into many bright scarlet flowers.